What are you doing, Cheyenne? Just washing some instruments. That's not the right way to wash the instruments. Well, golly, if you can show me the correct way, that'd just be swell. I can do that. You take the wash bin and the bottom of the sink. Next, you take the distilled water and you add some water. Next, you take the wet wash and you put a splash in the bottom of the cup. Then you take your instruments and let them sit in there. Just a quick soak? No, you have to wash them very well, making sure to get into all the nooks and crannies. First, you start with the tip. Then you move to the box lock. Down to the shaft. To the ratchet. And then to the ring handles. Well, that's just neat. Next, you take the distilled water and you rinse your instruments. Then you put them in the ultrasonic cleaner. Ultrasonic cleaner? How do we work that? You put the instruments in, the lid on, the hose is clamped and in the sink, and then you set it for 15 minutes. Next, Cheyenne, you take them out of the uh, ultrasonic cleaner, put them on the towel, and spray all moving parts with a milk bath. What's the milk bath for? Helps lubricate your instruments. Like that? Yes, make sure to get the ratchet too. Golly, Christina, you've taught me so much today. Let's just make sure I got this straight. First, we start with the tub with the distilled water and the splash of the wet wash. Next, we scrub our instruments, making sure to get in all the nooks and crannies. Then we move to the ultrasonic cleaner where the tools are put in for 15 minutes. After that's finished, we set them out to dry and we spray the moving parts with the milk bath to make sure they're lubricated. Hot diggity dog, Cheyenne. I think you've got it. <laughs>